Hey, what's going on YouTube? Well, it's been a while since I posted a video, uh, and I actually just happened to pick up another item off eBay that I wanted to show you guys, so I figured this would be a good time to make another one. Uh, and no, it's actually not the Genesis you see sitting in front of you. Uh, that's basically there so you don't have to look at my very blindingly bright orange 70s colored carpet. Yep, yeah, that's right. It's the Sega Saturn. And uh, I guess I'll unbox this for you tonight. I also got a few other things with it, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so let's see here. As you guys can see, it's a Model 1 Saturn. I already actually have a Model 2 packed away. Um, again, as you guys know, if you see my other videos, I tend to like the first model Sega systems better. Uh, for a small Genesis, I tend to like a little bit better than the Model 2 and 3. And same thing goes for the Saturn, even though there's kind of a slight difference. Basically, the only thing different is the uh, look of the case, rather some of the designs on the case, as well as the oval buttons in the front of the system itself. Um, but outside of that, it's pretty much the exact same system. But again, I, I tend to like the Model 1 a little bit better. Uh, so as you can see right here, we've got the front of the box. Uh, this one comes with a sticker that says... Uh, Virtual Fighter is actually included, however, it was not included in this box. It's it's semi-complete. Not everything's in there, but uh, there's enough. Let's see here. On the front of the box, we got the picture of the Saturn again. And we also have the Saturn logo on the side there. And then right down here, it reads, <clears throat> Unprecedented power delivers the true arcade experience. Huh, just like the Genesis. Photorealistic 3D graphics and blazing double speed CD-ROM drive. Wow! That was certainly definitely cutting edge back then. So, seems funny today, but again, pretty cutting edge. Let's see, we got the, the bottom here. Unfortunately, the box isn't in, in the best of shape it could be. Actually got a little bit banged up in shipping, but uh, that's alright, I suppose. Let's see here. Uh, so we got a uh, picture of Virtua Fighter, Virtua Cop, and you probably can't see that, but it says, available in fall of 95. Now, according to the artwork on the box here, uh, this is probably a system that came out around launch due to the fact that the uh, box is mentioned in games that are available in the summer after the system came out. Uh, continuing on, has pictures for Clockwork Knight, uh, Panzer Dragoon, and then Mr. Bones. Again, available in the fall of 95. And you got your specs uh, listing here. You can look that up on uh, Wikipedia. The side of the box here, nothing too important there. And the top of the box here, we've got more games. What's that say there? Real sports action comes to life on the Sega Saturn. Hmm. Just seems like they're going off the uh, awesome sports games that are on the Genesis here. NHL All Star Hockey, NFL 96, again available in fall of 95. Daytona USA, awesome game. NBA Action. Available in summer of 95 again in Pebble Beach Golf Links. And we got on the side here. It contains the Sega Saturn unit, control pad, CD games, power cord, and a stereo AV cable. And that says down there. Some TVs may require an additional RF unit, which is sold separately. Again, because not all TVs uh, had composite video jacks back then. So you could pick up an RF adapter if you needed it. Moving on over to the back of the box here. We'll view that there. Let's just say over here. Hmm. What's it like on Saturn? Unbelievable graphics. The sharpest video yet. So many more colors. Incredible 3D. Synthetic worlds and remarkably clear audio. That's what it's like in the world of Saturn, huh? Yes, no, it certainly is pretty awesome. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it says here, massive parallel processing power for faster, more explosive graphics. Three 32-bit RISC proce processors make Sega Saturn the fastest, most powerful gaming machine on the planet. Two heavy-duty processor, uh, processors deliver blazing video performance, including 16, 16, wow, 16 million colors in stunning 3D graphics. Lightning CD-ROM performance, Sega Saturn CD-ROM has way 
way more game capacity than any other rather than any mere cartridge. And with double speed ac accessing for mega fast sorry for mega fast read time, the Sega Saturn CD ROM takes you to an amazing new realm in game excitement. High quality audio. With digital processing technology, Sega Saturn plays CD audio with surround sound, CD plus G discs, plus dozens of great Sega Saturn games with full digital sound and music. And next to, next to that, yeah, you've got a picture of the Saturn, all the accessories included in the box. And then, again, it says included. Come on, focus. Come on, included with your Sega Saturn unit. It's the control pad, CD games power cord and stereo AV cable again with the little asterisk point to the fact that you may need an RF cable and then they show you some of the accessories that were available for the system at the time the uh, original control pad the uh, six player multi-tap the arcade racer steering wheel and then of course the backup RAM cart and then let's just say down there in the fine print once you've experienced the power and performance of Sega Saturn no other system on earth will do. We're looking at you, plaything. You are not worthy. <laughs> nah, PlayStation was a good system too. And of course, they have a number of different games that were mentioned all around the sides of the box in the back here. So nothing you guys already haven't seen there. I think we checked out all the sides, so let's crack open the box here. Okay, so we got the inner box out of the outside box and then right here I'm assuming if I had my copy of Virtua Fighter would slip in right here so we take that off and then kinda empty because again it's not fully complete uh, we've got the power cable the original Saturn control pad the large one now this is actually one of the first times I've held this pad ever since I originally held it I remember in a Toys R Us when I was probably about uh, eight, nine years old, so it definitely, I've, I've held the Model 2 pad before, again, because I have a Model 2 Saturn, and, and uh, I picked it up originally later in its life, it was probably 98, um, so I only held the Model 2 pad, which is actually technically the original pad that was released with it in Japan, uh, but originally we ended up getting this pad in the U.S. here, and after holding it, I gotta say, it's actually, it's pretty comfortable, I kinda like the, the way the D-pad kinda cups your thumb in there kind of nice. The only thing that's kind of awkward, and a lot of people do agree with this, is these shoulder buttons. It's, they're kind of weird. Um, you have to have your thumb, your uh, index finger's position more at the bottom here, and then that's where they click in. They're a little soft feeling. Outside of that, it's actually a rather comfortable pad. I like it.